how to tap into the unlimited source of all prosperity and success. Ideas are the most important source of abundance and success. And it's the starting point for creating a future that aligns with who you have come here to be. Hi, I'm James Trapp, Senior Minister of Worship at Spiritual Life Center and author of Take Back Your Future. And what I'm about to share with you is why ideas are the most important source of success and abundance. To create the future you want to love, and deserve, and you really want to have, you have to tap into what I call the idea sphere. That's where ideas are limitless. And all solutions to whatever problems that we have, all the answers to our questions, as well as genuine abundance and prosperity and riches come from ideas. So I'm gonna start out with a story. It's a story of uh, some young men who were being initiated into adulthood. And they were told to go and bring back the most valuable thing they could find. So the first went off and around the woods, across the world, and came back and had a big bag full of gold. Came to the elders and showed him, you know, the gold. And uh, they kind of gave him a polite, polite clap and said, very good. And the second young man came back and he had a bag full of diamonds. And he brought it back to the elders and again, they you know, applauded him for his efforts and said, very good. The third young man came back. He didn't have any bag or anything. He just had a balled up fist. And he walked up to the elders and then he gently opened up his hand and there was nothing there. And they were puzzled about why he was saying that this was the most valuable thing in the world. And he said, the most valuable thing in the world is an idea. Because when you have an idea, you can create almost anything. And ideas, therefore, are the most valuable commodity that there is. So what we want to do to really tap into the unlimited source of everything, the first thing we want to do is become an idea machine. So I'm going to give you the tools on how to tap into this idea sphere by becoming an idea machine. In order to become an idea machine, you must do three things. And when you do these three things, you will tap into the source of everything. So the first point to become connected to the source of everything, the source of abundance, you have to access these ideas through a meditative practice. Ideas are the currency of the universe. Everything we see in our world, everything we see in our lives began as an idea. And one way to access these ideas is through some sort of meditative practice. And it doesn't have to be anything formal. I know a lot of people saying, you know, I need to sit down in a lotus position and say some ohms and things like, there, like that. You don't have to do that. You know, I remember one time I had to, you know, solve a difficult math problem when I was in school. I think I was in high school at the time. And... I had no idea how to solve it. And I sat there almost without thinking and suddenly out of the blue, a solution came to my mind that not only solved the problem, but was a shortcut that no one had ever come up with before. And so I looked back and I said, where did that come from? Well, I realized, and I didn't know it at the time, it came from the idea sphere where there are only solutions. Now, there are various meditative practices and techniques that have been used by people throughout history that tapped into this idea sphere, you know, such as George Washington Carver, who was born into slavery, and he was best known for his promotion of the peanut. And he said he got most of his ideas through meditation. He once asked, 
how do I talk with a little flower? And he said, I talk to the infinite, and the infinite is that silent, small force. Where you look into the heart of a rose, there is when you experience it. Like I said, you don't have to have a formal meditation practice to tap into the idea of fear. You should simply gaze into the stars for hours on end if you want to. And you can enter what people call a dreamlike state and get some magnificent ideas. Or you can walk in the woods, take some long walks in the woods or on the beach, which I like to do when I'm near a beach, to leave behind our ordinary awareness and experience universal awareness. Now, point number two to tap into the source of all abundance. And the second way to become an idea machine is to write 10 ideas a day. Remember, ideas are the currency of the universe. It's not money, because you can run out of money. But ideas, on the other hand, you never run out of them. With the right idea, you can have great experiences. And with the right idea, you can indeed create abundance in your life. I recall a time there was an employee, and he was, all he did is stare out the window. At least it seemed like he did only that. He stared out the window all day long. And the owner of the company never did anything to stop him or try to make him work. And this employee had a coworker who watched this go on for weeks at a time. And this particular employee was working long hours, working hard, and he became increasingly disturbed that this other guy just seemed to just stare out the window all day, didn't do any work. And he was ended up getting paid the same as he was getting, and he was still keeping his job. Whatever his job was, he didn't know what it was. But eventually that coworker became very upset, so he came to the owner and said to him, I don't understand this. I work all day, every day, getting things done, executing on the things I'm supposed to do. And this other guy doesn't do anything but stare out the window all day long, and he still gets paid. And the owner said to that particular worker, shh, don't disturb him. Leave him alone. Because the last time he stared out the window like that, he came up with an idea that made this company an extra $1 million. So the last thing I want to see him doing is working. You, however, you need to get back to work. But that story illustrates the power of an idea. And if you write 10 ideas a day, do that exercise, you are really building up your idea muscle so that when you need an idea, you can generate one. Point number three, and finally, to help tap into the unlimited source of all abundance and to create your idea machine and to make it effective in your life, you have to execute on ideas that inspire you. Ideas are only as good as you, you or any of us act on them. Now, we can't execute on every idea at least not all at once. So we have to whittle it down to ideas that we might act on or you might act on. Often we know a goal we want to reach, but not each and every step we need to get there. We don't know all the steps. But once you take the first step, the next step is shown to you. And imagine that you're driving 100 miles to your home and it's late at night, it's dark and you turn on your headlights, and you can only see in front of you, maybe you can see 30 or 40 or 50 feet in front of you at any given time. As long as you keep your lights on all the time that you're driving, you'll make it home. You'll get through those 100 miles. Activating the idea machine is how you turn on the lights so you can get home, which is to that abundant idea. But you don't need to do any more than that a lot of times. As you look at your ideas, pick one. Pick one that inspires you. Pick one that inspires you the most and then take the first step. 
Because no matter how big the idea or the project is, it's never too big to start the first step. And once you take the first step, you build momentum to take the second step. And then you take the third step and so on. So you want to become an idea machine. You want to create the life your heart desires. And you do so by beginning to be those channels so you can create that life. So to recap how to create the life that you want, love, and deserve, how to tap into the source of all abundance, one, develop a meditative practice. Two, write down 10 to 12 ideas a day. And three, take action on the ideas that inspire you. Oh.